The book of Isaiah, chapter 24. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be, as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled, for the Lord has spoken this word. The earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languisheth and fadeth away, the haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. The new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth, all the merry-hearted do sigh. The mirth of tabret ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoice endeth, the joy of the harp ceaseth. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is dark and the mirth of the land is gone. In the city is left desolation and the gate is smitten with destruction. When thus it shall be in the midst of the land among the people, there shall be as the shaking of an olive tree and as the gleaning grapes when the vintage is done. They shall lift up their voice, they shall sing for the majesty of the Lord, they shall cry aloud from the sea. Wherefore glorify ye the Lord in the fires, even the name of the Lord God of Israel in the isles of the sea. From the uttermost part of the earth have we heard songs, even glory to the righteous. But I said, My leanness, my leanness, woe unto me. The treacherous dealers have dealt treacherously, yea, the treacherous dealers have dealt very treacherously. Fear, and the pit, and the snare are upon thee, O inhabitant of the earth. And it shall come to pass that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit, and he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare. For the windows from on high are open, and the foundations of the earth do shake. The earth is utterly broken down, the earth is clean dissolved, the earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall, and not rise again. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high, and the kings of the earth upon the earth. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit, and shall be shut up in the prison, and after many days shall they be visited. Then the moon shall be confounded, and the sun ashamed, when the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion, and in Jerusalem, and before his ancients gloriously. But since Earth is spinning, such a move of electrons seems to be going in spiral. And of course, we know if we have a rotating electric current, we get magnetic field. So we end up by having two magnetic fields opposite each other, parallel to the axis of rotation, and fixed. But hang on a second. The magnetic pole is moving, as we saw before. So the magnetic field that we observe on the surface must be coming from a different source. It's not generated, it's not induced. These include history, history chapters. In the Old Testament, Earth stopped twice at the exodus of the Israelites from Egypt, where the, the night uh, lasted longer than three days. And later, when Joshua was fighting in Palestine, the sun and the moon stopped, actually Earth stopped. What made a magnet to tilt? It's another magnet. It's another planet. It takes a magnet to tilt a magnet. There seems to be a cycle of repetition. Every 3,500 years, there are changes happening above our head that is causing our magnet to tilt and accordingly, Earth to enter into this dilemma. If it comes every 3,500 years, and then when it comes, it comes twice in 50 years, it means it has an elliptic path. And actually, NASA, is trying to find out. They have sent their wise, wide infrared uh, space uh, explorer to, to trying to figure and to, to image the Oort cloud and find out about this planet. As it approaches, first thing it does, it pulls some of the magnetic field force lines and this causes uh, losses of these lines.
Somewhere in the middle of nowhere, rural Kansas, the site of an abandoned nuclear missile silo. Armed security patrol the entrance to a doomsday bunker that's reserved for the wealthy elite, and sales are booming. Since the uh, election of Donald Trump, we've seen a whole new demographic of people calling in, people that didn't know we existed before. We're heading deep below the surface of the earth into an underground bunker like no other. And even though we are more than 100 feet underground right now, you can see that it's certainly not a claustrophobic area. 12 luxurious condos exist here with fireplaces, high-end appliances, jacuzzis, even windows. Yes, windows. High-definition TVs broadcast a live feed of the outside world right into your living room. The price tag for this three-bedroom, two-bath condo, $2.3 million. And look at this. It's a swimming pool with a slide and waterfall. Other common areas include a movie theater, rock climbing wall, and shooting range. There's even a farm that grows all the fresh fruits and vegetables you'll need. Just look at the landscape around us and how remote this is. And then jutting out of the side of this Arctic mountain is the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. The second blood moon lunar eclipse of the year will take place Wednesday. People in North America will be able to see it early Wednesday morning if skies are clear. The moon will appear orange or red because of the sunlight in the atmosphere. That's why it's called a blood moon. Welcome to our special live coverage of this historic event. It is a rare total solar eclipse sweeping from coast to coast. Let's show you a live picture right now. This uh, coming to us from NASA. This is from Oregon, and you can see the moon is covering most of the sun now. In a few minutes, they will be in totality. The moon will totally block out the rays of the sun. More than a thousand cattle have died at a farm in Vasbank near Dandi in northern KwaZulu Natal. Tragedy at a Vasbank farm. The mysterious death of 1,300 cattle is baffling the community. Samples have been taken to determine the root cause. Now to Kenya, where a second wave of desert locusts has descended on East Africa. Locust swarms can engulf hectares of land. And as they eat their own body weight each day, the swarms devour practically everything in their wake. If you walk up and down Indian River Lagoon, you will see this. Thousands of dead fish belly up in the water. In Australia, rescuers are trying to save dozens of pilot whales after almost 200 beached themselves at King Island in Tasmania. The latest mass beaching takes the number of whales stranded in this area in the past three months to more than 400. 102 mammals in all have died in the past 24 hours. It remains one of nature's most heartbreaking mysteries. Up to 100 birds have been found dead in a Swedish street, just days after thousands of birds inexplicably dropped out of the sky in the United States. Fireworks, the cold weather, even poisoning have all been blamed for the deaths, but the experts remain baffled. First America, now Sweden. A hundred or so jackdaws dead in the snow in the small town of Falkirping. It's as if Christmas had come again for aficionados of the mysterious and irrational. The only sign of damage was where they'd been run over. They looked like they were in some kind of shock. Everywhere you looked, they'd fallen out of trees. But at the risk of disappointing conspiracy theorists, mass die-offs of birds like this in Louisiana on Monday morning are surprisingly common. And while in Arkansas, scientists are still looking for the cause of the weekend's mystery sudden deaths of thousands of red-winged blackbirds, the apocalyptic isn't top of the list. In the eyes of the world today, stunned by this image, this was debris from a meteor racing toward Earth, streaking across the sky there, crashing into the ground in those woods. And look at some of the other images emerging tonight. The cloudy trail the meteor produced, and on impact, this, carving a little pool into a frozen lake. It's the biggest meteor in more than a century to hit the planet. This one crashed in Russia. A thousand people were injured from shards of flying glass and debris. Tonight here, we have learned there was no warning. Oh, 
chabón! ¡Gonza, apurate! ¿Qué es eso, él? ¡Cállate! ¡Cállate! ¡Sí, chabón! ¡Gonza, apurate! Tensions in Israel this weekend. Violence overnight in Jerusalem. Behind me, just to set the scene for you, we are outside the Lion's Gate entrance to the Temple Mount Al Aqsa Mosque compound. <laughs> First off, the sky turns pitch black in Beijing as the CCP starts its biggest annual political conference on Thursday. Uh, there were thunderstorms started and at 3 p.m. people said it looked like 3 a.m. It looked like pitch black nighttime during the middle of the day. Now this is being seen by many actually on the, even on the Chinese internet and even on Twitter. You can see many people talking about it. It's being seen as a bad omen for the Chinese Communist Party. So have a look at some of these videos now. You can see the sky looking like it's nighttime, and people even showing their watches, showing the, you know their own accounts, stating it that this is not in fact nighttime. This is during the day. This is midday around 3 p.m. Uh, there was also some videos of the thunderstorms, which appear to be very aggressive. You know, take it for what you will, of course. Chinese traditional culture, this would be seen as an omen, a bad omen, meaning some big change is going to take place. Period. See, this is what it looks like normally, starting on the 12th. Watch the time. And watch, because what you're seeing is impossible. Nighttime side. <laughs> this is high intensity, high speed solar streams, except for they're not coming from our sun.
rainforest is being consumed by fire. In fact, there's an 80% increase in fires just over the last year alone. And this comes, of course, after the hottest July our planet has ever seen. Residents in eastern China woke up early this week to find the river that runs through their city had turned blood red. The other night, folks smelled something strange, and then the Wenzhou River turned red, blood red, and nobody knows why. Extraordinary moments in Hawaii, over 450 earthquakes in 24 hours and spewing lava on the big island. That's what many people on that island have been enduring. And
NTD has obtained photos from inside the Chinese regime's internal epidemic prevention meeting on January 16th. It's further evidence that the regime concealed the outbreak from the rest of the world. The January 16th meeting occurred in Shijiazhuang, the capital of Hebei province. This image shows the timestamp 1401-36, January 16th, 2020. It was taken at the city's health system safety and novel coronavirus prevention and control meeting. On this Wednesday night, the coronavirus officially reaches pandemic proportions what it means and what it calls for. This is a call to action uh, and a call not to give up. As more countries, including Canada, make plans to act. We will make sure you have everything you need. Are Canadian hospitals equipped to cope as the health minister spells out the worst case scenario? It's safe to assume that it could be between 30% and 70% of the population. Social distancing, what you need to know about keeping your distance, slowing the spread and flattening the curve of infection. Is the scene from the steps of the state capitol here in Lansing. I wanna move out of the way and show you a look at this crowd, at least a couple thousand people here on the capitol lawn. of popular anger have returned to the streets of Beirut. Despite an ongoing lockdown and a curfew,
שלום לכולם, איזה יום נפלא. סמנכ"לית וראש מינהל תרבות ספורט וחברה, אריאלה רג'ואן, איציק נידם, סמנכ"ל וראש מינהל תפעול, יוסי שרבי, מנכ"ל משרד התרבות, ענת צור, מנכ"לית הקרן לירושלים, הרברט ארמסטרונג וקרן שומרי זיכרון הברית מהפיליפינים. חברים נכבדים, ואחרונה חביבה, סואלה האומנית היוצרת. I would like to thank you, the representatives from the Philippines, that you contribute for this garden, and you continue the promise from 40 years ago. Wonderful for you, and thank you very much. <laughs> 